Hey friends, today we have a very special book for you. It comes from Italy and it's in Italian. And our friend Squirrel is going to read it for us, right? Uh, yeah, so Squirrel only speaks squirrel language, of course. So, how about if I read you my interpretation of it? Siamo foresta, io e te. Which means... We are a forest. Me and you. Written by Nadia El Omari. Illustrated by Richelli Rosazza. Read with the permission of the publisher. All of a sudden, I heard a very loud noise. The forest screamed and the echo reached me. It was scary. I couldn't stop myself to come and see you. I found you on the ground, just as I had feared. I paused. I breathed air, light, green. I tiptoed on you to feel the geography of your bark under my feet. I stretched my arms and hugged you. I leaned my cheek and my ear against your huge fallen body. But the beats I was hearing didn't come from your heart. It was instead the sound of the heavy steps of who cut down the trees to take them away. Then a thunder louder than the others woke me up. I'm in my bed and my heart skips fast. The raindrops dance on my window. It must have been a dream, but I fear it is true. So I ran to come and find you. There you are, tall as ever before. The sky has lightened up. It makes me smile. I can reach you and climb on your branches. And I keep climbing till I reach the top. From here, we can see the town and the sea, big ships leaving the harbour and free fish swimming in the waters, men who look as tiny as ants on the street and children running amongst the flowers of the meadows, smoke is moving from chimneys and we can hear the roaring of a lion and the trumpeting of an elephant, the roaring of planes and of wars. We can hear the voice of our earth whispering secrets. We sit waiting for the moon, gently breathing. We are a forest, me and you. We really hope you enjoyed this book and maybe one day soon you can also go and check on your favorite tree. This is our favorite tree. It is an oak tree and you can recognize oak trees because of their wiggly branches. They are not straight, you see. They look a little bit like curly hair. Let me hear how my friend is doing. Oh, he says he's doing very well and especially likes when children go and play with him. I wonder if he's thinking about you. See you next time. What do you think is the name of the girl? Squirrel? Do you think she's called Squirrel? It's a bit funny.